Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into FPL International today. It's your boy Anil and today we're gonna do another round of a wild card for game week eight. And basically things may have gone well for your side, things may not. Me personally, I played my wild card earlier and it did not pay off as I expected. But there's a better chance now. Um we've seen the players more. We've seen how certain players are fitting in with their teams, new players like Lukaku, um, Ronaldo, Townsend. And therefore, we're going to make some changes, you know, and see if that helps us. And yeah, we're going to go right in and starting with our goalkeepers. Um, one's just a cheap 4 million option, which is Foster, just because he did play a bit. And the other option that we're going to go with is... Sanchez from Brighton now Brighton have been playing very well a lot of people do not expect them to be where they are right now and Sanchez has been putting in some good performances of late and I think he's a good keeper to have for only 4.6 million I think that's just an amazing price it's a bargain right now uh, Brighton's fixtures as well are not as bad as other teams so he's a good option to have right now Moving on to a defense, um, kind of a mix of different players. Um, let's look at it this way. I'm looking at two teams that really have been keeping clean sheets or have been conceding less goals than the other teams. And that would be Man City and Chelsea. And looking at the defenders, um, Diaz is a good option, but I don't feel like he goes up as much and can like score a goal or give you those extra points so that's why i'm going with cancelo also there is a stat that he has had the most touches this premier league so i feel like that's something that's going to keep on going uh, he's been playing very well and for chelsea as Piliqueta is the only person that i feel is guaranteed to start uh, along with rudiger in that defense there's a lot of changing i thought alonso would be a good person a good person to put in but then now Chilwell came and played and he scored as well or contributed to a goal. Um, so therefore, I could not pick Alonso. So Aspilicueta for me is the better option. Just consistency-wise and the fact that Chelsea have a good run of games coming in. And um, I think he's going to have some clean sheets. May contribute to a goal or two as well. But more, more for his consistency in being in the team. So that's why I would say uh, Aspilicueta is a good choice. And then we're going to go with Ben White from Arsenal again. Just the fact that Arsenal, let's be honest, have been doing much better, especially at the back. Uh, quite a few clean sheets. Um, I think Ben White is a good reason for that. Personally, I think um, he's doing really well. He may contribute as well with a header or two uh, from a corner set piece. So he's good as well. So those are the three main ones. Um, then I have Jansen that's still doing very well for Brentford. He's still up there in the points. Very cheap option as well for 4.6. And the other one would be uh, Livermento from Southampton just because of his price tag and the fact that he's playing a lot as well. So I feel like he is someone as well that you might want to put in your team. Um, yeah, so I feel like that's a very solid back five in which at least each player is able to play and you can chop and change uh, based on who's playing who that game week but with the consistent ones being uh, hands down as Pelicueta, Cancelo and then if you're trying to do with three at the back then you might go White or Johnson depending on who they're playing and that's why I feel like that that five is a very good five to have at the back for the uh, for the game weeks coming ahead. And moving on to our midfield, um, we've got a very wide range of players in terms of people I feel that are starting to get settled in. Uh, people that have been playing way better than expected. Um, a star, definitely one player has to be a star that's already performing so well. And another player is someone that I feel like should now start kicking on. And basically, my five is going to be with Emil Smith-Rowe. Um, just the price tag, again, um, 5.3 currently as it stands. I think that's a steal 
just with the fact that way he's playing on the pitch for Arsenal and his contribution for the team, I think that that's someone that's worth having in your squad. Whether you start him or not, that's up to you. But I feel like that's a good bargain for uh, someone that's contributing so much for Arsenal. Um, my second player is someone that's a surprise package. And that's Andros Townsend for Everton. Um, very sad he scored against United. But he still that doesn't deny the fact that he's playing really well currently. Um, he's someone to look forward to putting in your team. Just because I feel like he's solidified his place in the starting eleven, And he looked very well going on the counter-attack, scoring goals. Um, creating opportunities as well. So Andros Townsend, just for the differential as well. I think there's only about 6% that own him. So I think like you guys that look forward to getting Townsend will have like a bit of a a head start, you know, on getting points and something different, basically. That's why it's called a differential. <laughs> and then um, Leeds starting to kick on as well. And I feel like Rafinha as well is someone that's starting to kick on. Um, he should actually kick on. And start contributing more. I think he played well last season. I think we're still yet to see the best of him this season. And therefore having Rafinha in your team is definitely worth considering. And then um, the one that I feel like has finally settled in. Kind of now you can see that he's he's going to play most of the games. If not all, he's going to start most of the games. If not all. And that's Jack Grealish. Again, with Man City, just the way they create so many opportunities, um, Jack Grealish is bound to be on some of them, whether it's assists or scoring. And that's why I still feel like he's such a key player to have there. He's a consistent player. Um, <clears throat> looking at that as well, then uh, our one star, the guy that definitely has shined above the rest this Premier League season so far is Mo Salah. There's no denying it. Um, he's playing really well. I think he's having a, a season like when he first came to Liverpool. Um, just doing really well. Scoring goals, assisting. I think he's, he's on fire. Um, and with Liverpool's fixtures, there's a few tough games. But even in those tough games, to be honest, if we look at it, Salah is probably one of the only ways they were gonna they are gonna score goals. So therefore I feel like having Mo Salah right now is is a must have at this point in time because I think his price tag is only gonna go higher. And therefore definitely must have him. For twelve point seven, yes, it's a lot. But um you can make sacrifices around him. I think he's worth it at this point in time. So yeah, Mo Salah definitely have to have him in this in our team right now it sucks to say because he's a livable player but definitely have to have him and then uh moving on to our strikers basically it's three players that i feel like one definitely surprise package um which is Wang from uh wolves doing really well scored the uh, scored a bit last game um I just think he's someone that, I mean, it's worth taking the risk at 5.6 million um, <clears throat> just to have him for the games where Wolves are more likely to win. I think he would contribute a lot. So, yeah, he was definitely a surprise package for me personally. Didn't expect that. I didn't expect him to play as well as much, but uh, it looks like he's doing well with Jimenez as well. And, yeah, for 5.6 or so, definitely worth it. And then the other two uh, strikers, I feel like they're, they're going to be up there. They're definitely chasing the golden boot as well. And that's uh, Jamie Vardy. I think, again, doing so well. Um, I thought I thought personally this season slightly decreased. Like he won't, you know, contribute as much, but he's proven me wrong. Um, definitely playing well, scoring almost every game, every other game. And I feel like that's just going to continue. Um, Leicester look like without Jamie Vardy, it's it's a bit of a struggle. So he he's definitely someone to have in your team, hands down. And the last person would be Romelu Lukaku. Um, look, he started very well, had a bit of a dry spell. 
but again with Chelsea's fixtures coming up I think like he's just gonna get opportunities and basically those opportunities he will turn them into goals and with Lukaku the thing is like Chelsea don't have another striker that can contribute I, I understand Werner is there I understand Werner even scored last game week but at the end of the day like Chelsea really rely on Lukaku and therefore I feel like Lukaku will pitch up and score goals so I'm not worried about that I think he will start scoring eventually again but he's definitely someone uh, in the race for a golden boot as well so with Jamie Vardy uh, same with Salah so when you've got those players in your team like orig like you you are going to know that they by default are people that are fighting for the golden boot fighting to score goals for their teams they're the main source of goals for their teams as well so those are good players to have in your team and that's how you know that you have a good team when you got three or four players that are like the key players in their team then you're doing well so yeah that's basically my wild card edition for in ahead of game week 8 um I'd advise you guys to get these players sooner before the price tags go up, especially with Salah, Lukaku, Vardy. Um, yeah, I hope all of you guys have a good time, a good week, off week as well with the international break. But uh, as always, please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to our videos and turn the little bell on <laughs> to get a notification whenever we have another video posted. So yeah, have a good day, have a good night, wherever you are, stay safe. Thank you very much.